Hi, this is Caroline Carp, and welcome to my studio. Um, today I'm going to be painting a scene that I can tell you what my inspiration is. Um, one thing is that I was inspired by the music that I'm listening to and the artist of this music because she talks about nature a lot and empowerment and uh, the world and nature. So I like listening to her music as I paint. Um, her name is Christine Kane and uh, she's also a coach. So anyways, and then also I was inspired by um, a photograph that um, another friend and coach of mine, Elaine Bailey, took of the Biltmore flowers, sunflowers, and I decided that I was going to paint over this uh, painting of music because sometimes uh, I'm just ready for something new to come out of a painting and what is back there is still in the, uh, the soul of the painting. Like, it's the soul of the painting. So, um, join me as I paint, and we'll see what evolves out of this one. Um, I'm adding greens to the background, which will kind of uh, cover it up. And the sky, as you can see, I've already been working on, and um, sort of the, the hills and the mountains of North Carolina. Behind that, as we come forward, I'm going to be putting in some, some greens and some sunflowers, so um, you're welcome to watch. And since I have it, I'm going to show you the inspiration. It's right here. So this is kind of what I'm going for, and I can just look at it on my iPad. And it's probably going to look a little bit different because I do use my creative license. So, here we go. And you can see how the, the music just lends itself to kind of like taking me right here to this scene. And it's, you know, very... The guitar is very rhythmic, so I can sort of, my brush can dance to it. I'm getting out all different uh, varieties of brown. I wonder if I should pull you in a little bit closer so you can really see what I'm doing here. And this is going to be a series of videos because that's the way that, that's the easiest way to post these. Also add in um, crimson and, and uh, orange to the center of my sunflowers. Even though it's not really there, but it's almost like your eye and your mind want to see them there. Your mind does. I almost wish I had somebody that could just put the tops back on my paintings while I'm painting because. Typically, I do not like doing that. I 
I just want somebody to load up my palette for me. Those are Aria's toenails on my wood floors, if you're wondering what that sound is. So you, you do know she's here. You don't see her, but you can hear her, her toes clicking. So my plan is uh, sometime during October, um, I am going to go to some sunflower fields, and they do have them here in Florida, so I might just go here, or I might head back up to North Carolina. Uh, these are from the Biltmore, the Biltmore sunflowers. So I do know that Elaine was hiking there, and she took this photo. So basically I'm just like blocking out where I want the sunflower to go and then I can sort of work around that. And under here is a jazz piano player. He's still under there though. I'll remember he's here. sort of see the sketch of the sunflower that's going to pop out here and it is surrounded by the green stop this video now here and then I will um, come back and continue painting because obviously it takes me more than 10 minutes to paint and uh, so so far I have the sunflower sketched in the sky put in and the mountains in the background and this green that you see here is actually a leaf that's going to be coming into the extreme foreground so um, leave your email in the comments if you'd like to join my list um, of VIP, a circle of VIP uh, people that get my newsletter. Thanks. Bye.